The Atlantic Forest is one of the world's richest biomes in terms of biodiversity and the second most endangered. An important part of the Atlantic Forest is the Araucaria Forest, which is at an even greater risk of extinction, with only 3% of its original area preserved. To help restore this important biome and aligned with its commitment to protecting what's good, Tetra Pak has partnered with APRIMAVI, a civil society organization that has been working on conservation and restoration projects since 1987. Together, they are launching the Araucaria Conservation Program. This is a pioneering initiative in Brazil, connecting several stakeholders in the development of an innovative model that brings together conservation, environmental restoration, carbon capture and support for local communities. In the coming 10 years, the goal is to restore 7,000 hectares of degraded forest area located in the states of Santa Catarina and Parana. The area is equivalent to 9,800 football fields. Forest restoration contributes to combating climate change. This is because as trees grow, they absorb and store carbon dioxide, one of the greenhouse gases that contributes to global warming. Today, forests are responsible for absorbing 30% of all carbon emissions in the world. The Aral Carrier Conservation Program is Tetra Pak's first nature-based initiative and supports the company's global sustainability goals of conserving and restoring forests and having a positive impact on biodiversity. It also contributes to the company's decarbonisation efforts with targets approved by the Science-Based Targets Initiative, a global organisation that is a reference in climate change. Tetra Pak has set a goal of reducing greenhouse gas emissions in its value chain by 46% by 2030. In the same period, the company expects to achieve net zero across its own operations, and by 2050, the ambition is to achieve net zero across the value chain. In the long run, the Araucaria Conservation Programme will have the potential to capture 70,000 tonnes of carbon equivalents per year, the same as taking 35,000 cars off the road each year. In the first year, an area of 80 hectares will be restored in the municipality of Urubisi, state of Santa Catarina. The restoration will be done through the planting of seedlings and natural regeneration. The first year will also focus on mapping, running studies and analysing areas for restoration and carbon capture. Once validated, these models will be replicated in other rural properties. The restoration efforts will contribute to the formation of ecological corridors, reducing pressure on the various endangered animal species. Hundreds of farmers and landowners will have support to ensure their properties comply with environmental legislation. They will also have the opportunity to add another income stream through the Payment for Environmental Services Programme, a financial mechanism that remunerates those who carry out conservation and preservation actions. As a way to encourage other organisations to join the initiative in the future, Tetra Pak is planning to validate and certify a larger area following the VERA International Voluntary Carbon and Biodiversity Standards. With 13.7 million hectares certified, an area that corresponds to the size of a country like England, the company is building a legacy of environmental conservation for the region and society. A pioneering initiative led by Tetra Pak in partnership with APRA Mavi with the support of TNC Brazil and Clabin.